This is TCM, I'm Alicia Malone and every Tuesday this July we've been watching our Star of the Month, Dana Andrews, from the beginning of his career in the 1940s to throughout the 1950s and 60s. In total, he acted for over four decades and during that time worked with an impressive array of directors from William Wyler to John Ford, Jean Renoir, Otto Preminger and Fritz Lang. Lang directed Andrews in two films, Beyond a Reasonable Doubt and our next movie, While the City Sleeps from 1956. A novel called The Bloody Spur, written by Charles Einstein, was the basis for this script, written by Casey Robinson. Lang worked closely with Robinson, sharing stories with him about the making of one of Lang's most famous films, M, from 1931. That movie and this one share a common trait in that they feature a psychotically twisted murderer. Lang also realised that he and Robinson could craft this script in such a way that they could fill it with stars, but that each star would only have a few days of work, meaning the budget could be kept low. Clever, but Lang hated having to play the Hollywood game, saying, a distributor believes a star is security. I can tell you 50 pictures with big stars that were big flops, but who can argue with motion picture people? They never learn. In any case, this is a great ensemble cast who play workers at a media company pitted against each other to solve the crime by the CEO's son, played by a dastardly Vincent Price. Dana Andrews is a Pulitzer Prize winning news anchor. Thomas Mitchell is an editor. George Sanders is the head of the Newswire. James Craig, the photographer. And Ida Lupino is the newspaper's women's story writer. Also with Rhonda Fleming and a very creepy role for John Drew Barrymore, son of John, father of Drew, this is While the City Sleeps. Given that While the City Sleeps was made in the mid-1950s, it's surprising that some of the risque material made it past the censors. Fritz Lang spoke about that bar scene where Mildred, played by Ida Lupino, is teasing a drunk Mobley, played by Dana Andrews. As you may remember, she's looking at a photo through a slide, and the inference is that it's a naked picture of herself. But when the bartender picks up the slide, we see it's a naked picture of a baby. The producer on the film wanted Lang to edit this out, but he won the battle when the movie was tested and the audience roared with laughter at that moment. Dana Andrews and Ida Lupino were good friends, though this was the only film they made together. And next, for TCM's Star of the Month lineup, we'll watch Dana Andrews in a late 1950s horror film directed by Jacques Tourneur.